Welcome everybody. My name is Helgo Hornes and I'm the manager for Intelligent Systems at Pepper and Fuchs. Today I want to show you how to replace a failed AS interface safety device on a network. Because there are multiple safety monitors and safety controllers available, we will provide you with three different procedures. One for the K12 safety monitor that's offered by Pepper and Fuchs and all other members of the AS interface safety consortium. The other one is our newest member, the KE4 safety controller. And the third procedure will apply to the K30 safety controller with integrated gateway and diagnostics display. Let's start by going through the procedure for the K12 safety monitor. So the, f the, f the way I create the fault is by simply disconnecting my e-stop. As required, the safety system goes to a shutdown and the number three LED illuminates red. This is my replacement device. It's currently at address zero and the e-stop is in the release state. Before reconnecting, I have to push the service button lightly until the number one two and three LEDs are cycling through their colors. Next, reconnect the new e-stop. The proper address will be assigned automatically by the gateway. Make sure it's in the release state and again press the service button lightly. Now at the end of the procedure the stop button has to be pushed one time, released, and the system can be restarted. Let's move on to the KE4 safety controller. Currently it is in the release state and the output LED for the safe output is on. Again, I will simulate a fault by removing my e-stop. Here we have a set button and I will push the set button for approximately one second until the SM LED turns from green to amber. At this point I will reconnect the new e-stop, make sure it's again in the release state and press the set button until these two rows of LEDs illuminate amber. I have to push in the e-stop one more time, release it, and that can reset the system. Let's work with a K30 gateway with integrated safety controller. Currently, as you can see by the green K1 LED, OSSD1 is in the release state. I will again simulate a fault by simply removing the e-stop from the network. This will make the safety contacts drop out. On the display you see that slave 1 on network 1 is missing. The replacement procedure for this device is a little different and uh, actually a little nicer because of the display. So the first thing that I will do without pushing any buttons is I will reconnect my replacement safety device. This will remove the configuration fault because now the network is complete but we are still in error mode since the safety codes from the new e-stop are not the same as those from the old e-stop. So we have to correct that. We press the OK button to pull up the menu, tap down for AS interface safety, hit OK and then select the teach safety option. In this case all I need to do is teach a single safe slave and I do that by tabbing down to the single slave menu. I press OK. The failed module and the replacement module were on network 1 so I OK this one and then I come down 
to slave address, hit OK. And with the up and down buttons, I will select which address I will have to reteach. Uh, address 1 is the one that I took off, so I will have to reteach it. I hit OK. And that completes the procedure. I can now escape out. I will push in the e-stop one time, release it, and that will reset the safe outputs.